What's up everybody, Greek Sage here. Welcome to my new video. Today we are gonna talk about a fresh new tool, spline design. And we will build some nice isometric stuff. So let's dive in. Download the tool on a website spline.design. Right now it's only available for macOS, but the creators of this tool say that the Windows version is coming in less than two weeks from now. Very excited about that. So what we can do inside the software? We can create basic shapes like sphere, triangle, helix or custom funny things like teapot or bunny. We can give them multiple colors or materials or even textures. We can light the scene with three different lights. There's also a fog option that adds some moody atmosphere to the scene and allow us to create deeper perspective. We can also import 3D models from our computer or add them through the library tab. You see in the library tab you got some models from Google Polygon, images and different videos. When you're ready you can export the result as a public URL and embed it on your website, Webflow or even inside Notion. You can export the scene as an image or canvas and implement the code on your website. And finally perform simple animation based on stages and mouse or key events. Very excited about that. First of all, on the main screen we got some goodies. There are some projects you can explore and play with and of course learn from it. There's a learn tab where you can find all the shortcuts. It's very important to know them when working with 3D scenes, trust me. As an example project we will build an isometric server. Create a new document, we will name it server. First of all, we need a base where our server will stand on. Delete the default rectangle. As for our base, I will switch into the top view, create a new rectangle, 150 by 150. Give it a white color, lighting, reflection, Lambert. When I press Alt or Option on Mac and the left mouse button, I can freely move around. Now I want to extrude our rectangle, I'll say about 20, zoom in a little bit, make the corners round, maybe 12 is enough, that looks nice. The next one will be our server unit. Go back to the top view, create a new rectangle, it will be 75 by 75, drag it up. I want to center it first, so select both center and center here okay I need to drag it up again now I want to extrude it okay I need to switch lighting to actually see it smooth corners but not too much I think around 8 will be okay I will drag it a bit down there so it's like Hovering above, let's give it another color, I will say blue, yeah, blue is okay. Let's check out the isometric view. That's a nice one. Now I want to change the lighting. I want my light to fall from the left side. Therefore, I will turn off environmental lighting and add my own light that shines from the left. Click here, choose directional light. Drag it up to the left side, up again, a bit further, reduce intensity to 1, that looks better. Put it somewhere here, we can change it and adjust it later if we want. Now I want to add a green light to my server box, go to the front view, zoom in a bit. Take a sphere, create a new one, about 5 or 6 pixel. I'll take 5. I need to drag it into the box, color to green, I'll choose that one. Fong, Lambert has a bit less reflections. Okay, I think there should be something more. Let's create a black bar in the front. Create a cylinder, 
about 5px. Check caps to yes. And add some corners. That looks nice. Rotate 90 degrees on the z-axis and finally move it into the front of our server box. Just like that. Give it a darker color. This one maybe. Lambert. So here comes the interesting part. I want to duplicate our server three times. If I select the server box, the light and the black bar and group them together, there's a cloner option on the right side. But it may be a bug now, I just can't use it with a group. So I have to ungroup my objects again and do it another way. So we'll clone our server first. I will choose linear and 24 pixel on the z axis and 0 on the x. And of course, 4 times. I think 24 is actually too much, but we'll check in the isometric view. Yeah, it's a bit too much. Or 24 was okay. Now select our light and do the same. Four times linear and 24 pixels now on the y axis because we created our sphere in the front view and not in the top view. So the height adjustments is going to be on the y axis. 24 is a bit too much. 23. Yeah, I think that's right. So now do the same for the black bar. Four times. 24. Zero. Ah. It's not the right one. It's the X. Okay. Yeah, I think it's 23. That's right. Excellent. I want to adjust our light a bit. It's too intensive. Like 0 0.9. Or drag it up a little bit. Drag it further. 0.75. That's better. I want to add another element on top that looks kind of like glass. Go into the top view again, create a rectangle, it's 75 by 75, drag it to the top. Let's see what corners we had, 8, we had 8 as the corners. And give it a white color, also I want to extrude it, but of course give it a Lambert to see it. I think this extrusion is too much, 8 is enough. And give the color about 30 percent. Okay, almost done. The final touch remains. Let's copy our glass top with command D for duplicate. Set the extrusion to zero and remove the color. I want to add a texture to it. Let's move it down. Choose texture. You can choose whatever image you want. I will choose my logo for this example. So set it to clamp, crop, yes. And the size about, I will say 0 0.4 by 0 0.4, maybe 5. Check out the isometric view. Yeah, not bad, but we have to drag it down all the way to the glass, like that. That's it, now we can export it. I will set my background to zero to make it transparent. Choose image, PNG, and press export. Server. Take a look at that.
So if you liked that video, thumbs up, subscribe if you aren't already and I'll see you in the next video.